Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to introduce this Arduino motor shield. We will be starting with explaining how this works, all the ports and the specification of it, looking at the data sheet. After that, I'm going to explain the code that I have written for this to control motor. And then I'm going to demonstrate controlling one motor, including the speed, direction, break and uh, start uh, and then i'm going to show you connecting two motors independently control each and then i'm going to connect a very large motor with a small motor and then demonstration of that you can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description which is below the video which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash arduino let's get started with this So this is the Arduino motor shield. Shield means that this can be installed directly on the Arduino. So that's why it's called shield. With this, uh, this is based on L298P uh, motor controller chip. They have uh, put them in, a, in this shield so you can easily connect and control two motors. This motor shield has a current sensing feature which can be very useful in many applications. I will create a separate video covering an implementation and code on how to measure the current on this module. So make sure to watch that video after finishing watching this video. This can handle two ampere for each channel. So you can have one motor maximum of two ampere and then the other motor will be maximum of two ampere. Uh, because motor is an inductive load, the four diodes for one motor and four diodes for the other motor are included for protection of the circuit so you don't have to connect any other motor. The motor that you connect on this side, we call it channel A, and it has two lights. Whenever this portion is high, or whenever this is high, depending on the direction, this LED will turn on. For channel B, the same way, we have two LEDs. This shield has all the ports that the regular Arduino has, and also it has a reset button. The reset is connected to this uh, reset pin here, to this reset. Pen. This is a official Arduino.cc website that uh, uh, this shield has been mentioned. And originally, for channel A, the direction of the pen is connected to pen 12, the password modulation or the speed of the motor is connected to pen 3, and the brake is connected to D9. And then also for channel B, it's D13, D11, and D8. And if you're using the current sensor, it will be connected to A0 and A1. For A, it's A0. For channel B, it's A1. You will control, you will control the speed of motor using the pulse width modulation. Pin 3 is connected for motor A, pulse width modulation. And then this is a brake for motor A. And that's the direction for motor A. When you set this high, it will stop, which, will, which means will apply the brake. When you set it to low, the brake will be released and motor can move. And the same way, this is for pulse width modulation of B, and this is the direction for B, and this is the uh, brake for B. The direction, as you can see here, A and B, if you set it at high, it will rotate in one direction, if you set this pin high, and if you set it low, in, it rotate into the other direction. The direction are unknown and depend on your motor, and also depends on the wiring. Because you can change the direction of the motor, this plus and minus are just uh, relative. These are not absolute, so you can connect your wiring this way, it will rotate one way, and if you switch it, it will rotate the other way, so you can find appropriate direction for your motor. This pin is connected to analog 2, and this is connected for analog 3 Ds, in case if you are connecting a device here. And here are the explanation for that. That is for analog 3 and that is for analog 2. The middle one is connected to analog and this is connected to 5 volts and the ground. So the signal will be red here at the middle one. And then these two orange are the digital out. They are connected to pin uh, 5 and 6 here. Digital 5 and digital 6 which are these two. Digital 5, digital 6. So the middle one is connected to the digital and the positive is on the other side, ground is on this side. 
in case if you're connecting another device, external sensor or whatever you have. And these two RTWI uh, pen or these here, Those are this one, and this is connected for SCI and SDA. This is the N. One is N as it's written, and the other one is out. So this is the N, and then this one is out, SCI and SDA. These two are for I square C communication. So we have also five volts and ground. This has four pens. If you don't want to use the break or the current sensing, because current sensing will use two pen. And the brake also will use two pen. So if we check these two points, you see they are short. So they are connected. To disconnect this. We have to be careful because there are a lot of other paths around it. Now let's check with continuity to start again. Now disconnected. As you can see, these two are connected. That one got disconnected. Now let's have a look at the data sheet for L298. That's uh, the chip that is used is this one, the P version L298P, and it says DC current total of four ampere, which means each channel will be two ampere. And this is internal diagram, and as you can see, this is N, and, and that's for for this section. You can connect the motor here, the two wires here, and the other motor will be connected here. So for this section here, we have two inputs. But uh, in the Arduino, they have arranged it only one, so they just put because the, when this is high, this will be low. When this is low, this is high in order t for the motor to run. And then this is enable. This is the pin that we uh, change the speed of motor. This is connected to the s speed of motor. And then, as you can see here, current sensing is connected in here. From this sensing, we can do some action. For example, you can monitor the current that if it's above certain value, then you can turn it on and off. But here for current sensor, the pin is connected. You need to put an external R sense A and R sense B. You need to put your own resistor so the current passes through. For this module, the a chip can work up to 50 volts but uh, on the shield you cannot go above 18 volts because the internal regulator of Arduino will get damaged if you go above 18 volts. Keep that in mind. If you need further information I will provide the link for this uh, data sheet. Here is one motor, tiny motor, I've connected it here mm, between uh, for the motor pen B this is motor B and this is my motor A and the motors are connected here the polarity for the motors because this is DC doesn't matter because you can change the direction from the code so it doesn't matter but in, in case if it doesn't go with the direction that you like just swap the wire and it will not uh, harm your motor these two pins are for the DC on this side that's ground and then this is a plus sign and you can uh, connect your external power or battery or whatever you have to power your motor. But if your motors are very tiny and small and they consume less than 500 milliampere, you can connect it directly to Arduino and power it from USB or for Arduino, which majority of the devices can supply. Let me now explain the code that I've written for this purpose. Uh, for each motor we are defining three pin. One pin is for the actual motor which has a direction. If you put it at low it will go in one direction and high in the other direction depending on how you connected your wire. You have to test and find out. But high is one direction, low is the other direction. And then this is the pin that controls the speed. So this uh, we are assigning 
12 9 3 and then 3 is 9 is for the break this is a i put a at the end so you know this is for motor a 12 9 3 that is default within the board so you cannot change it you must put this 3 9 12 and then for motor b the same thing we have motor pen and then a speed pen b and then break so 13 11 and 8 so this is the second motor i have defined it as constant so you cannot change it later and then I have defined two variables called CW, I called it high, and CCW, the direction of a motor, I called it low. Inside the setup, we define the three pens here for motor A, and we say pen mode, motor pen A, and then speed of A and brake of A, all of them as an output. So those pen will work as an output. And then we do the same thing for motor B. And then we initialize the serial monitor here to, in case if you want to debug or find a problem, and display it on a serial monitor this num serial monitor will work when you click on tools and uh, serial monitor but when it pops up the number that is there must match in this 9600 inside the loop now I'm running the code it's very simple let's say you want to send motor B to clockwise direction just put motor B pen so that is if you see here motor b pen instead of 13 we just motor b pen so it goes to motor b pen and it starts rotating uh, clockwise but this will not have a value until you have this one so we set speed of motor b pen we set 100 when we set 100 that is a perfect modulation value 255 is the maximum zero is the minimum and then it will apply 100 it and uh, then the motor starts and then it runs for five seconds then we apply brake so we say motor pen b and we say high when you put high the motor will stop and then we wait for two seconds and then release the brake so we set motor pen b low when you set the pen low the motor will stop uh, brake is removed and then we set the motor pin B as speed of up to 70 and we wait for 5 seconds now let's, let me upload the code and see it now I have connected the motor to channel B I'm just changing the speed and direction so you can see that this is running this is a tiny motor and it draws very little current but I can put uh, a little stronger motor here now this is faster brake and then the red is now slow 100 and this is 125 and now it's, it's 225 and then 145 on the other direction I've written this extra function move motor and it needs it has three parameter the motor A or B direction and speed so you need to apply send these three values to this motor like this if you want to call it just say move motor inside the single code because it's a character put capital B and then put CCW or CW CW counterclockwise or clockwise and put the value so the first value B will be motor inside this function and then CCW will be the direction and 200 will be the speed. And here we are checking it and applying the value so this will make it very clean. And here is a function that I've written for, for break. So break motor integer BRK and here this way we will call it. We say break and inside single quote A1. If you want to break just put send 1 to A. And if you want to release the brake, just send 0 to A. Here, let's use it. Here we say brake A, so motor A, release the brake. And then we say motor, move motor A, clock counterclockwise direction with a speed of 100, um, pulse width modulation value. Let me connect it. Motor A, because it's on this side, let's upload the code. So code is uploaded and the motor is running in clockwise 
at the speed of 100 to then let's say you want to Let's say you want to run and stop it, run it for 3 seconds and then break then apply brake and that will stop the motor but it will come back, release the brake and do it so stop the motor for 5 seconds let's upload the code and see it now it will run for three seconds at this speed break wait for five seconds come back hundred now it will be hundred if you want to change the direction let's say after the break you want to send the motor in the other direction At the maximum speed to to fifty five for five seconds and then break. Okay. So so that's hundred break. Go now at the maximum on the other direction. So we have applied brake, but we did not release the brake. Let's upload the code. Now the code is being uploaded. Now the code is uploaded, so it will go slow. Break. And then on the other direction, very fast. And it continues like that. to connect two motors you can do the same thing you can say motor V clockwise 145 for three seconds and then break and stop the break for motor B as well change the direction that was CW B was CW now move, make it CCW release the brake for motor B as well let's upload this and connect the power So this is running at their own speed, stopping, changing the direction. This is more powerful than this. You see the speed of this is changing. Now I have connected this motor, huge, Now this motor draws about 1.2 ampere. This draws uh, 
less than 400 milliampere. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this Arduino Uno motor shield. If you like the video, please thumb up and also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. Now.